Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It, the show where we play every rogue like in history. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me as always is Moon Pier. Hello. And Monkey Senior. Yo. Uh, this is our second week of Vambrace Cold Soul. Uh, I have to, I'm going to start off uh, here real quick. I have to admit, I was deathly ill this week. I had zero time to play pretty much anything, so I played uh, none of this this week. On Trust me, dude. We all listened to the podcast from last week. We don't need you to tell us you were <laughs> I was, sick. I was in bad shape, even on Sunday, and boy, it was worse than like on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, spoiler alert for the main show, uh, I had people ask me if you were okay this week. <laughs> Yeah, not, no, well, it wasn't feeling super hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm back to semi fifty percent fighting uh, power here. Um, okay, but, so you didn't play Jack this week. Uh, yeah, based, no. Monkey, no. take us away. Tell us about your progress. Did you yeah. beat the game yet? No, I okay. I didn't play much of this actually. Animal Crossing has just been ah, oh, uh, there you go. Like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, it, I just beat the first boss, actually. Okay. <laughs> um, the the merchant boss, and mm -hmm. I gave the the thing to the ghost guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because I, I yeah I figured I I heard Boston doing giving it to the living guy, and I was like, you know what? At, at least one from the other side. Yeah. Um. Uh, and I figured like I I've been using him a lot. Like yes. during the runs, and I bought like one thing from the living the people. So I was like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I regret the... my decision. <laughs> well, and the game does say like, hey, if you want to curry some more favor favor with um the the spirit vendors, then maybe you want to give it to this guy. So have you have you seen the the fruits of that uh, decision yet? Uh, well, I I actually looked at the. The, they give you like it's some emblem like in your key items in the inventory and it oh, okay. does say like equipable. plus two merchant to uh when you're talking to those guys so oh cool okay yeah. interesting it's, it's yeah cool. was it like a little pin with um lyrics face on it uh it might be something like that yeah, yeah, because yeah. I got the same thing with for the human side, and it's like this little yeah. cutesy like button pin mm -hmm. that like I can equip on her instead of armor, and it gives her a bunch of stats. Yeah, it gets like four or five different stats, right? It's mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my my team going into that was pretty interesting. I really like the elves in this game. <laughs> They're so mm -hmm. good. Which mm -hmm. ones? So I I have two on my team. Uh, one of them is like the a swords swordsman elf or swordswoman i guess mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and she has a, a skill that reduces damage by three for two of your party members whoa oh, wow like it, yeah wow <laughs> and she goes she goes first pretty much every battle so the first thing i do is just turn that on and then well we got free That's damage crazy. reduction and then the other elf i have is uh she has a heal as her uh her regular yeah, uh, yeah, I've got I've got a similar I've got yeah, a too. similar one to that in mind. Yeah, those, <sighs> Does she have the healing over time one too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and, uh, yeah. That's the one I've liked the most. Where it's like I'm gonna heal. It's like three or four this turn, and then one over the next three turns. I was like, that's pretty good. Yeah, the only issue with that one is it completely wipes out her thing, so all she can do from that point is her primary for like five turns. Yeah, for her, I usually for the next couple of turns, I just defend because mm -hmm. uh, it's you. I haven't had to heal that much, so it's sort of like, all right, we'll defend. We'll raise your defense. Pretty defending raises defense significantly, which is really nice. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. What else do I have? Uh, was for that boss battle. Was there music for you guys? I am running into this a lot. The audio glitches. Oh, where... like that was mm -hmm. super weird, especially for the boss fight. Like it was yep. just, like leading up to it, and then no music. So it was just super awkward. Like yeah, yeah. Them I am yelling getting... at each other and like okay. yeah, like music yeah, doesn't I... loop at all. I get this consistently now, where music doesn't loop, or suddenly attack sounds won't happen, so I won't hear the clashing of swords, or swords oh, and weird. flesh, or whatever it is. Like, I won't hear that, but I'll hear music, and then I'll hear, like, ambient noise, but nothing else. It it happened with me with the previous game as well, but 
I'm hoping it's not a her porn issue, but based on the fact that everyone seems to be having issues with the past two games, then it seems to be just these two games. Yeah, I, ha I haven't listened. I, I don't have the sound on that often because it's the the music is fine and like the sound effects are all fine, but it's nothing super. It's not like Darkest Dungeon where it's like, yeah, I want to hear, I want to hear the narrator, I want to hear all this yeah. stuff because it's that all narrator weird. Narrator makes that game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, last thing I have is. Uh, I think it's weird that the consumables and the equipment don't list their weights. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That drives uh, me nuts. <laughs> like the, mm -hmm. the the random junk you get all have weights and then yeah, it's like, the oh, I have consumables. Six, like, I have 60 yeah. weight going into the dungeon. Why? Like, did I forget a bunch of treasure chests? It's like, no, I just have a bunch of healing items. It's like, oh, okay. mm -hmm. cool. That would be nice to list that so we can actually yeah, yeah. calculate how much you can bring yeah. make the tough decisions before you need to make the tough decisions and trash yeah. things right exactly. which yeah. is annoying yeah it's all for um, me this week i beat the second boss today hey, nice. actually nice. um i i've sold a whodunit which you'll get to eventually okay. um i'm learning more about the world great i like the both warring of factions things. yeah um, and I went into the second main exploration area, which weirdly enough is chapter three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for reasons. Yeah. Um, and I one shot it the entire way through. I didn't Whoa. kill people in one shot, but I, it took me one run to make it through that entirety of that section of nice. the, that dungeon. And it was a mixture of playing okay and also taking more advantage of the campsites because i really sucked in that first dungeon of oh it's just a campsite i'm just gonna walk on past mm. now i have the healing lady and she's got really good overwatch so it's like okay i'm gonna re i'm gonna entertain my people to get my vigor up and then i'm gonna yep. sleep to get my health up and then i'm just gonna keep on trucking yeah my uh fox yeah. lady who is like a i think she's a like a, an archery lady she's a my ranged she has um five overwatch so that mm -hmm. that has proven I almost every uh, campsite I'm staying at because I like the idea of that vial that fills up with green stuff. But if you're playing smart and you're camping at least once per like dungeon in a run, it never seems like it's filling up that quickly. At least in the first it, dungeon. Yeah. It, it filled up a lot for me in the first dungeon because I was doing the thing I always do, which is I need to explore every room. Right. Yeah. I very quickly land. Nope. Just be landed. Do that. Just yeah, you don't really need five to. rooms and get to the end. Yeah. Like it's all that counts. So now that I'm doing that, it it doesn't even really make it to the line and right. um and I'll camp and do both the music and the sleep, which increases it by ten and it's still it's fine. It's yeah, just like, yeah. okay, sure, yeah. whatever. Yeah, it, it, I think it's a really... I think on paper, it's a really cool risk-reward system, but I think the there doesn't seem to be a risk, and the reward seems pretty great. So it just seems like, hey, man, camp out, sleep a little bit, play some music, whatever. It's all good. Yep. So hopefully yeah. that will be I a think, bigger thing later on. Yeah, I, I feel like the, the vile thing... or doesn't make much sense right now because there's not much uh like upgrades for your team yeah yes it, it, that it seems like so you don't need to go around gathering materials and so the bar just never fills yeah and, yeah yeah, yeah I'm, uh, moon has has have you unlocked more crafting plans or stuff like it does the upgrade path seem a little bit clearer now that you've progressed a little bit uh, well, I just finished the the third chapter, second dungeon, whatever you want to call it. I haven't done my loop around and spoken to everyone because okay. there's some there's a lot of story that happened at the end of that chapter. Um, but the thing that I did notice was in that second dungeon, when you when I found a forge, it started unlocking blue recipes for me for like oh, the nice. gear and stuff like that. Cool. So. Okay. As soon as I started looking at them, I was like, well, I don't have anywhere near enough materials for that. <laughs> so I'm hoping that now that I'm done with them and I'm back in town, once I've talking to, I've spoken to everybody, hopefully I can go and use the forge in town to use the items from my actual box, right. which I have a lot of, mm -hmm. to loop back in and get those upgrades done so okay. I can actually power up my team. That's cool, because I that was my concern, where it's like, uh, we talked about this in the first episode, where it's like, how am I supposed to progress 
my party. Like, I don't, there, there doesn't seem, uh, Lyric has her own stats that she can upgrade, but like, how am I supposed to make better stuff to get through the dungeon? So I'm glad that that stuff is yeah. unlocking. Just yeah. curious, what what did you guys put your first point into? Combat. Uh, your skill point. Yeah, I did I combat don't, as well. I haven't spent it yet, because I, I think I oh, need to okay. progress the story a little bit to lead up to the next dungeon, and then it'll get me. I think I'm, like, right before that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's about where it happens, yeah. But, yeah, I put it in combat immediately, because it's just, like, I can't have only one hitter on my team. Right. Because, like, I have the archer lady, too, right. but the second she gets fractured, she's just like, well, now I'm doing no damage. It's like, great. Yeah. You're useless well, now. And Lyric has a, a pretty good close range attack. She has a pretty good long range attack. Like she has a, she has a, a pretty good suite of, of abilities. Mm hmm. Yeah. I did put her in a new outfit, though, because oh, yeah. I could. I Which did. Why not? <laughs> uh, the one you get for trading in with the human guy. Oh, yeah. I liked that one. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I, that's um, different. Yeah. The, I also picked up in the first dungeon, there was a hidden outfit that was um, Samus's outfit. Um, that's, <laughs> like the one course, underneath the armor it is pretty good. It's called. Oh like the, yeah, I saw your screenshot for the zero suit. Yeah, it was basically like this. It was like this, the bounty hunter suit. And it was something about it had the description about like <laughs> if you're hunting monsters in space. And I was like, ha, great. Yep. Oh. Yeah. All right. Any? It, uh, it sounds like things are things are progressing pretty well here. I was surprised by by how much progress I made because I, I didn't have a whole, well it's not like I didn't have a, actually I didn't have a whole lot of time to play it this week but I only had a couple of runs at it and like I said that one run where I just like basically power walked through it was like two hours of story is like okay I'll come back to it a different day mm -hmm. then came back and just did one run through that next dungeon I was like okay now I'm getting the hang of it a little bit more now I'm understanding it a little bit better mm -hmm. I, I desperately need to bring more splints in because my people always break their hands they break their legs oh, yeah. and then they lose combat stats and they just like go away yeah. those, those mimics you gotta you gotta stop opening <sighs> chests <laughs> yeah yes. I, I've got a really great dwarf in my first slot that, that evades all pretty much everything that i throw them at it's been pretty great interesting i might change my because my main guy is one of the guardian looking fellas mm -hmm. so i might change them out for a, a for the watch color for a dwarf and see if that's any different yeah because there was something like in that guy's skill set specifically that has something about like traps and uh surprises mm -hmm. where it's like all right you're gonna you go in the first mm -hmm. slot you're gonna inter interact with everything um, that's working yeah. pretty well. Yeah. All right. Any uh, final thoughts here for week two? Not at the moment. So far, mm. so good. Can, keep on keeping on. Death <laughs> Stranding. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. We'll see you next run. Bye. Bye. Bye.